everybody so I wanted to take some time to kind of um, let you guys know which dolls I decided to keep from the collection of dolls that I got from the benefit sale in Wisconsin um, the first one I'm going to start off with is doll number 55 now the story behind her is the reason why she was not in my opening video for the benefit sale um, opening video is because I did not actually get her. My friend picked her up on Saturday because she had a Saturday ticket and she really thought I wanted this doll, which I did. And luckily um, she did pick her up for me because uh, she was not available when I got there on Sunday. So here she is, still in the outfit she came in. Her hair is super shiny. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is undress them. And I'm also going to tell you what I'm going to name them. And this one actually has her ears pierced, which my friend did not know if I wanted pierced ears or not, but I'm fine with either way. Alright, so now I'm going to pick out an outfit for her. And the name I've decided to go with, drumroll please, is Peyton. I think Peyton will be a wonderful name for this doll. And, um, but we'll see if it sticks. Alright, so what should Peyton wear? Alright, so there is the full outfit. Very cute on Peyton. She looks absolutely adorable. Now I'm going to look at her hair. She has tons of hair. I know that some people have said that number 55 sometimes doesn't have a lot of hair in the back, but this one seems to have a ton of hair. Alright, so here is a better look at my new doll, Peyton. The next doll that I'm going to open is number two. She has medium skin and dark hair and brown eyes with bangs. And I have decided to go with the name Ava Marie. All right, so here is Ava Marie. Super pretty. All right, so I decided to actually keep one of the number 40s. And I got two of them so that I could find a really nice one for my friend. And after taking photos of her and kind of looking at her, I did um, decide that I do want to keep her. Um, this one actually has kind of a wig that pushes her um, bangs in the front of her face, which I thought was super cute. So now she's going to be cousins to Jess and Joey from my collection. And, and she'll be twins with my friend's doll. And because my friend 
um, picked such a wonderful name for her number 40. I think I'm going to let her actually choose the name for this one. So I don't have a name quite yet for her, but I'm sure she'll have a really cute name. So there is her. I'm actually gonna put the McKenna shoes on. And she looks like she is ready for lounging. Overall, she is a beautiful doll. I love her. The next couple of dolls I have had in my collection in the past and ended up giving them away to friends. So this one is number 29 and I'm very excited to have her back in my collection. Her name uh, was Brooklyn and I'm going to stick with Brooklyn again. I'm first going to put her in one of Mia's skirts. I don't know if it was originally from her meat outfit or Mia's 2-in-1 skating outfit, but I do uh, remember it coming from the Mia collection. It has real little pockets. A plain pink three-quarter sleeve shirt. I'm putting the cape on from one of the school outfits. Alright, and here is some Bitty Baby boots from the Bitty Baby Mix and Match collection. So there is Brooklyn. Her hair is really nice. I'm really impressed with this wig. She's actually in better condition than my old Brooklyn. Thank you, Brooklyn. All right, and the fifth doll I decided to keep, which I've only decided to keep five dolls, um, but this one I think probably is my all-time favorite My American Girl doll, and one of my friends really fell in love with her as well, and so I decided to give her to one of my friends um, because I kind of knew that she would probably be available at the benefit sale again and I was right and I got her again and I am so happy to have her back in my collection. I think she is absolutely stunning. So here she is. She is doll number 29. She is the only My American Girl doll with medium skin and blue eyes. I think she is just overall an excellent doll. Um, I got a couple of these ones just so I could kind of check over um, all of the wigs and kind of choose the one I thought was best. So this is the one I decided to go with. And right now her hair doesn't look so good, but uh, with a little um, love and care on her hair, her hair can get really curly, which I love. Kind of like Violet, who I think is number 24. But it just kind of curls on its own if you twist it. Alright, so those are the five dolls that I decided to keep. I hope you um, liked the ones that I went with and um, please comment down below on who is your favorite.